Who's up? Yeah, Coach, uh, we're well into the campaign now. Are you happy with the government's attack? Thanks, Stu. Um, obviously, it's only the first quarter, but... Yeah, no, look, I'm really happy with the pressure the boys are applying. I mean, did we all see Shorten drop the ball on superannuation last week? Yeah. And that was just beautiful. You know, we watched that replay over and over in the club room. So, uh, as I said to the boys, a few more fumbles like that and we, we could be back in the game. But it's not all going well on the field. What about Barnaby Joyce's role in the water buyback scheme? Yeah, look, I uh, don't think fans really want to hear about that. You know, I mean, that, that question's in the bubble. What bubble? The Canberra bubble. But what about the cost? Of I've already answered your question. You didn't answer it. You just put it in the bubble. Well, yeah, that's because the question belonged to the bubble. I mean, seriously, it would save us all a lot of time right now if before asking me a question, you asked yourselves a question. And that question should be, is my question in the bubble? Mm. Horse crap. Sorry, it's Barnaby. Just put that on silent. Well, what about ScoMo's photo at church? Should religion factor in the finals campaign? Yeah, last time I checked, religion was in the bubble. But he invited the media to take photos of him at church. Yeah, I told him not to do that. Um, OK, looks like religion is out of the bubble. OK, so if he invited media to his church, his religious beliefs should be fair game. Yeah, no, you're getting pretty close to the bubble there, Stu. So we should be able to talk about him skipping the marriage equality match, his teammates defending George Pell, and his refusal to condemn Israel Folau's comments on homosexuality. Yeah, no, I'm going to put that back in the bubble. Yeah. Well, what about Michael Suker and Deacon? Looks like he might have bruised his ego after supporting Dutton last Bubble. Week. And Big Mal still causing trouble on Twitter. Bubble. And what about you swapping preferences with Clive Palmer before game day? Bubble. OK, look, everyone, I'll only say this once, OK? This whole room right now is one big bloody bubble. OK, and I'm sorry to burst that bubble, but I've got a club full of players who need me at training, so if we can just keep our questions well and truly outside the bubble. Aren't you just using the bubble as an excuse to avoid scrutiny? Well, that is by definition a bubble-based question, and I won't be answering it. Well, what can we ask you about, then? Yeah, no, I made a list, actually. Um, you can ask me about the Sharkies, you can ask me about our surplus, and you can ask me about anything that's not related to domestic politics. OK, what about the Philippines? Is George Christensen right to charge personal flights to... Really? You're going to go this, Stu? Yeah. OK, you're bench, mate. What? No, I'm putting you in your own bubble. No, come on. OK, final question. How do you feel about Ukraine electing a comedian as president? Yeah. Well, I think we can all agree that comedians are pretty much the lowest life forms on the planet, so he won't last long. I mean, anyone who makes a life choice to impersonate political figures just for cheap laughs is dead set the grubbiest flog in the game. All done? Radio, I've got a flag to win. Gee, that's good water. How much do we pay for that? 80 million. Yeah, I can see why. It's delicious.